The scriptures say that it is not of he that wills or he that runs, but it is of the Lord that shows mercy. Mercy is what you receive when you're inadequate and not qualified to get something done by yourself. God will look upon your weakness and overlook your ignorance to show you mercy. It's always been the system of God to offer his mercy to mankind, knowing that man cannot help himself get what he wants, and that man will always fall short of God's glory, except help by God. Not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. So, you may not know what to do to get the right person to come your way, and you might have tried all that you could, but none is working for you. You've worked on yourself and your relational approach to people around you, but nothing is coming to you in form of the right person. You've prayed all manner of prayers, but the more you pray to the Lord, it is like your prayers are not working for you, but are rather working against you. The only time you have heard God speak to you about the desire to have the right spouse that you have been praying about is when God tells you to wait. He tells you to keep waiting, and after some time, when you have obeyed God and waited, all you hear from Him is the command to keep waiting. That could be painful and frustrating, but there is always a word and message that God is trying to communicate to you. The information that He's trying to pass along is that there are certain things that you cannot just have to yourself if you're not given. And that was the reason Jesus Christ said that no one receives anything unless it's given to him by God. It is God that will give you that person that will treat you right. It is only from God that you can get the fullness of what you want to have and what you cannot get for yourself and by yourself. All good things come from the Lord Almighty. The true spirit of love comes from God because God is love. God is love, and for this reason, no other person will love you right the same way God loves you if they do not have the Spirit of God in them. So, for you to have that person that you have been praying about, for the right person to come your way, you have to wait on the Lord. You have to look up to God to give them to you. There is no other means or place where you could get the right person for your life if not in God and if not someone that God has prepared for you, someone that God is building for your purpose alone. So it is good if you rely upon and position your heart to believe in God for the right person to come into your life. Listen, it is not all that glitters that is gold. You have to know the truth about whatsoever they're doing for you to determine what is going on in their mind. People will come to you and present themselves as true and right with many exciting and captivating words just to win your heart. But when all their aims are achieved, that is when you will know if they are who they told you they are or they're something else. But if you know this already and you believe in and rely on God to give you that person that he has prepared for you, there is no way you're going to miss out on the gift of the right lover. He will present someone that will give you love and make your life lovely and interesting with great memories of love and emotional sweetness and humor. Stop the search for the right person because the right person for you is not missing. Stop the search for the right person because the right person for you is not hiding anywhere. The only reason you have not received the right person into your life now is that God is not done working on them. Do you not know you are kings and queens? Have you forgotten that you are fearfully made and you are a beautiful being to behold? So, you're not for everyone. You are for a special person, and that special person is not unveiled yet until God is done building and preparing them for your good. Everything about God is revealed in your relationship if you're with the right person that God has approved for you. That is a good reason for you not to think you can get the right person by your power or by your wisdom. Everything good comes from God because it has always been the desire of the Lord to give you the best and to give you riches and wealth. 
Have you not read that it is the Lord that gives us the power to make wealth, and that the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow to it? You cannot have the wealth you desire if you do not receive the power to make it. That is the same way it is if you do not receive that person from God. If God does not approve of that person and does not give you the green light, it will be dangerous for you to go into such a relationship or marriage with that person, because if they are not the right person for you, then they are automatically wrong for you. Some specific reasons will make God give you that right person, because God does not do things without reason. God is on a journey, and the end is to actualize His divine purpose in your life and your relationship. The people you share your life with are the people that God is going to use to make the journey easy for you to fulfill your mission and destiny. God knows that if you have the wrong person in your life, you may not have the peace and the required support that is required of a spouse to accomplish your destiny. God knows your life may be cut short if you do not have that good life that you have always prayed for, and that is the reason God has taken it upon Himself to give you that person that will bring the blessings of God on you. The right person is a blessing from God to your life, and when that person becomes a blessing, then every other channel of blessing is made to open on its own accord. Do you know why? It's because the foundation of your blessing has been solidly given to you, which is the person that God has prepared for you by Himself. Everybody has made it to destiny had the right person by their side. Do you not know that relationship is the first blessing that everyone has to strive so hard to have? It is when you have this blessing, when you have people of great value and substance, that you will have the chance to make moves on winning the battle of destiny, because you know they're always there to help you and will fight with you till you become a winner. That is the blessedness of having the right person, the right associates, the right colleague and partners around you. This blessing only comes from the Lord. They're not seen or gotten from anywhere else. If you do not receive them from God, then you may not have them from anywhere. God is waiting and telling you to come and to stop stressing yourself out, trying to do things by yourself. You cannot make the right choice of the right person with your human-controlled mindset. But if you allow God to help you, then you will not miss it. Have you prayed? Now that you know all of this, what have you decided to do? Have you decided to let God give you that person that will be good for you and help you, or you still want to have your life the way it has always been, with you struggling to have things that only God can give to you? Your faith in God will give you access to everything you want. Your faith will keep you in line with the plans of God. Do not relent in your hope to give yourself the best that God wants you to have. Subscribe to the plans and the promises that God has for you, and you will have your friend. You will have your God-given spouse. Your blessings are coming from the Lord if you have patience, and if you look up to the Lord, where your help will come from. The solution is here because God has taken over your predicament, and things are not going to be the same way they used to be. You have always had a hard time in your relationship. But now that God is changing the status quo for you, there will be no more heartbreaks and disappointment again. You're not going to experience tough times again because the right person is coming into your life now. Everything will begin to give you the results that you want: the love, the intimacy, the friendship, the companion, and the security that you have always prayed for will come in their fullness. And you will become fulfilled in life.